to talk about a listed company that invests into private companies. So three very simple points to start with. Um, HVPE is listed on the London Stock Exchange on the main market. Uh, we're a FTSE 250 company. We have a market capitalization of just under a billion pounds, and we've been listed for nearly 10 years. The company invests into private companies managed by a US private equity manager called Harborvest Partners, which is a blue chip fund of funds based in Boston. Second bullet point there, the compound annual growth of the portfolio in sterling is 13% um, for over the last 10 years. So we started off in 2007, which clearly was a time of high asset prices. Um, and even from that point, we've grown assets by 13% a year. So this is the sort of performance that private equity can deliver. Uh, it's a very diversified portfolio. Um, more than 7,000 companies underlying the, the uh, investment. Uh, and it's diversified across venture capital, buyouts, and it's diversified by geography as well. So you have a full range of investments in, in one, one share. The shares trade, as I say, on the London market. So it's secondary trading only. We're not issuing capital. Um, so if you buy a share, somebody else has to sell. The um, share price at the moment is £12.40, and the asset value per, sh per share is you know, nearly £15. So you're talking about a 15% discount on the assets at the moment. Um, and that is a situation that has been kind of fairly persistent over time. We've been trading at a discount now ever since the financial crisis. It's been narrowing steadily. But 15% is still a wide discount, given the returns we've actually generated and the low volatility of those returns. This slide shows some examples of the types of companies that have been or are still backed by private equity managers. You can see very, very famous names. On the left-hand side, we, we focus on the companies that were backed at the very early stage, so Seed Venture. This can be um, before the company has significant revenue. That's a small proportion of our activity, but we still do invest in that area. You then go through to the um, early stage venture, the growth capital kind of in the middle where you have revenue and profit and you're trying to grow the business, right through to uh, larger, the larger end, uh, more mature companies in the buyout portfolio. So clearly, a lot of those names are very well known. Um, the most recent that has made the news is Snapchat. Uh, that was in our portfolio. Uh, we invested through an underlying manager uh, in 2012, which was only a year after Snapchat was actually formed. So through this fund, you access these types of companies well before the IPO actually happens. And that's really um, an attractive uh, feature of this fund. <clears throat> now, private equity as a whole has, has shown significant outperformance of public markets over the long term. If you look at the median, this the middle private equity fund over 20 years, there's an outperformance of the S&P of the order of 6% annually. And that's just the average fund. If you have a, a high quality manager with the experience to select the best underlying investments, you can do better than that potentially. <clears throat> Traditionally, private equity has been the preserve of institutional investors. So the likes of the Harvard and Yale endowment funds in the US, um, very large pension funds. They've been committing to private equity for a long time. They have very large percentages of their assets in private equity, typically 15 or 20%. Um, and that's part of the reason those portfolios have generated such strong returns over time. HVPE opens this opportunity up to anybody who wants to buy a share. So our shares are £12.40. Uh, there's no minimum, clearly. Uh, one single share can be p purchased, if you like. Um, we have institutional shareholders as well. So our largest shareholder has nearly 14% of the company. <clears throat> but we have a very diversified shareholder base, including wealth managers increasingly. So the likes of um, Bruin Dolphin and so on will, will, will be in the stock. Um, and also individual investors. We're, we're attracting more and more. Um, people such as yourselves who are looking to, to make their own direct investment into private equity. A little bit about the manager. Harborvest is a global private equity fund of funds provider. So um, formed 35 years ago in Boston. We now have nine offices. We're investing across the world. So HVP's portfolio is split about 60% US, 20% Europe, and the remainder in Asia and emerging markets. 
Uh, you can see from this map here the presence that, that Harbourvest has. Uh, $50 billion of assets under management in total for, for the management company. Uh, and uh, some very early investments into Asia uh, in 1984, followed by an office in Hong Kong in 96. So a pioneer of, of private equity into new markets, as well as being a very established US player as well. Now, I mean, this is really my final slide. I've kept this presentation short. Um, further information can be found uh, on our stand, number 76, just up on the uh, mezzanine level. Um, but to, to really sum up, we are a FTSE 250 company. We will shortly be the second largest listed private equity fund available in London. Um, there is a story behind that, which I can explain. Uh, nearly a billion pound market cap, very strong liquidity. We typically see half a million pounds of shares traded per day. So. Uh, more than enough to manage a position. Um, and we're run by a manager with a 35-year track record um, who's delivered consistent returns throughout that period. Um, so with that, uh, I'll take any questions, um, if anyone has any.